Hello, my lovely Libra. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Libra, today we'll do your reading for the last week of July. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, Sun, Venus Signs for all of you, loves. Take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. And as well, Libra, this energy starts from the time you view this video or from the 23rd going till the 31st. Let's see here, my loves, what we got for you. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. Focus, my loves, for the storyline mostly. Then the science, the zodiac signs, because many times we might have those zodiac signs I mentioned or the people involved in this might have it. And, of course, I'm using the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards for you. Beautiful deck. And let's see here, Dorian Virtue. Messages from the Oracles for the Libras. We have fairness. Definitely, this is your energy here. Matt, the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. For some of you, you, you might feel thinking right now, you know, it's, it's not good that whatever it is, it's not even or it's not balanced it's a breadcrumb energy i feel here there will be something here which will come to a point that yes this is right this is how we need to do and underneath we have sensitivity for some of you you might be overly sensitive we just passed the new moon and the new moon is in cancerian which will be on the 20th sensitivity you are becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals whatever it is here for some of you you might going through a battle here with somebody here could be a court situation could be a situation between you and somebody here and you might be you know very very sensitive spirit says don't stay in this state go a little bit away from it because if it's not giving you any good please do not engage in that it's like don't give it too much energy for what is not good for you all right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs, what we got for you, how the energy flows here, and what we need to know for this coming week, what the predictions are, and how we can go through this. Underneath, we have Sag Energy, Archangel Michael, Temperance, Be Patient, Get Alignment, and definitely... It's kind of put in yourself peace. Look into the things, look in, into the universe and ask the universe to give you patience and peace. There is something here coming back. There is a situation here might come back to you. There could be some situation in regards to your finances. There is something here you lost Spirit says, have patience. Whatever situation you're going through, have patience. Somebody here might be even, you know, got outside from their home. And you feel a little like, what I gotta do? What I gotta do? Let's see. Because I feel here there is a situation here in regards to finances. Like the things on this earthly life. Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Sun, Leo energy here. You might deal here, Libra, with uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. There is children, there is money energy here. Yeah. And I feel here somebody might walk away, but I see them coming back. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a fire sign here. There is definitely a matter. There is coming back a situation money-wise. Okay? You, Libra, you might be single right now. But I feel here, if this person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, left, they will come back. And 
this is a situation here in regards finances, in regards children. Somebody here might be a situation here that left with nothing, no money, but there is something new coming here, whatever it is. Libra, you might be slightly younger than this person, or seems that, but you, you are very abundant here. There is abundance on your side. You are naturally abundant. And whatever you felt that, oh, this is not for me, this is not this, and I'm holding back, uh-uh. There is something here. Whatever situation that was, was meant to be here. You definitely are connected here, either with a fire, either with an earth. And definitely money situation here. Huge, huge. And children. Let's see here, Ten of Swords. When this person left you, or I feel here they left, and then you you felt like the money are very tight, but you felt way happier. Somebody here might left somebody else pregnant. There is a male, uh, a male figure here. Thought like if they they will leave, they will. Uh, be happy and I feel here they found themselves in a very unhappy situation yeah that was a divorce Libra and I feel here you felt devastated here this is you you felt betrayed whatever situation that was out there but I feel here that situation kind of give you another sense of life it's kind of don't hold on something which is bad. You might miss something which is very, very good. And I feel here, whatever situation, whatever, it's kind of this person gave you a blessing leaving them, leaving here, this situation. And that was, this is the pure, pure truth. You might hold back here, whatever it is, just it's kind of the fear of money, finances, or the fear that you cannot do on your own. That's never been the case here. Yeah, you might be angry of them, spending money or doing things, whatever. That That's you. That's it here. Why this person walked away in the first place? Eight of Cups. Magician, they wanted something else. They manifested something else, some some other things. Let's see one more. Yeah, since this person was felt unhappy, it's kind of whatever this situation you've been together or not, because I see you've been here together. You've both been very, very independent. Two very, very much independent, smart people. But there is a mother figure here. And I feel here you might be Libra, could be a father figure. You at one point feel like, you know, I thought you you are better than this. But this person something here, yeah. And this is them. That 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 is a husband who left here in the first place. And it's like they left because felt, you know, they they couldn't be here or they couldn't handle things, whatever. And I feel here there is a mother figure who could done everything possible here. Why they want to come back? Because they feel like the the energy between you two might be might be mended here. It's more likely like in a friendly way. Yeah. Also, I feel here in their life could be a water sign here, a friend, a supposedly friend. And it's kind of they, they went back or they got to that person, but something here didn't go quite good. Didn't go quite good. Let's see here. You, Libra, Page of Swords. 
You are on a new path, my loves. You're absolutely free on a new path. One more card here for you. Stand up for what you truly feel it's right for you. Fight for what is truly good for yourself. The other person, King of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. They might also could be offered a new job. There is something here this person want to do for themselves most likely. But they might leave for a period of time and they will come back. Whatever they left here, I feel here they have some money issues out there. Okay, whatever they thought will work for them with whoever they will come back. We have here three cards of coming back. Three cards. So whatever it is here, whatever they try to work here, Libra, didn't really gun how they plan it basically. And they might leave for any means here, might be an offer from a supposed friend out there. But I feel here things gone ugly out there. They hope, they hope, Libra, to come back to you. So, they want, star is again, healing energy. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel here. They hope to come back to you. So, I feel here that will be some resistance from your part. Because... Hey, I am fine the way I am. No, thank you. One more advice here. Seven of Cups. I got other things better to do at this time. I'm looking for what is better for me. And I don't need any craziness to come back. And you might feel like what is out there from this person could be a Capricorn person. Yeah, they might come with an apology, but it's kind of you don't need you don't need headaches, my loves. I feel here is their choice to come back here, but it's your choice to see what is good for you. Yes, they might come here. It's like they they want forgiveness because I see them very insistent coming back. Yes, that's a trait of most likely Virgo's energies, could be Capricorn, could be a Taurus, but I see them persistent coming back here and they really want to, to offer, not to offer, but to, uh, to give you an apology, it's like an honest apology. And you feel like, you know, I waited for this moment because this uh, Nine of Cups, yes, is not a waiting card, but look at this man here sitting there. It's like, yes, this is my wish fulfillment. I'll be here. Let's see. So I feel here you are great right now, Libra. And you definitely don't need headaches from somebody who in the first place left. Because to be honest with you, and many times I don't want anybody to get upset, whatever message comes here, but that's how I feel here. It's they left in the first place for something or somebody here. Could be an old friend they consider was a twin or a soulmate, whatever. But I see them realizing that whatever they thought will work is not quite working. So now they want to come back to you. So, and offer you this Ace of Cups. And I feel here that's for you, Libra, is like, I don't need this headache. No, thank you. So, yes, loves, thank you very much for in tuning in this energy coming here today. Love and light to all of you. And it's good to be sensitive. It's good to honor your emotions. But know what is best for you, loves. Okay? You know what to do and trust that inner voice, okay? 
All right, Libra. We'll see you next time with new energies, love and light. Bye for now.